Urban Man was just about halfway into a 10K race when he collapsed from a heart attack. On Sunday, he joined the men and women who helped save his life and finish the race. Tracy Smith with the story. It's a race that took seven weeks to complete. When I start to do something, I want to finish it, and I just felt bad <laughs> that I hadn't finished. Sunday afternoon, Bill Hughes got the chance to finish his race and thank the people who saved his life. It's overwhelming to think about how many people helped me that day and, and all of the, the timing. The timing had to be just right. And uh, I'm just so, I was just so blessed. Hugh says he can't remember anything after the time he fell, but his daughter remembers it vividly. I feel like he grabbed my arm and then he hit the floor, hit the ground. Face planted. Bethany Gordon knows CPR, so she was the first to start compressions. The lady next to me said, Are you a relative? And I said, I'm his daughter. And she said, Let me take over. So then that's basically when I just started to fall apart. And I just was crying. I was praying. I, you know, started calling people. And now, because of his survival story, they hope more people will learn how to perform CPR. And I think back to five years ago when my brother died of a heart attack. And if more people had known how to do CPR back then, could he have been rescued? He survived the heart attack, but he couldn't get over that he hadn't crossed the finish line. It's just been something that's been bothering me for seven weeks that I, I hadn't finished this race. To be able to now finish it, it means a lot to me. The race was complete, but this time with a new support system he never thought he'd have. Now, as Tracy Smith reporting, June 1st, the beginning of National CPR and AED Week.